project was from the government of Spain through Hat3, the Venice Recovery Fund. They gave, they gave us $10 million to spread renewable energies in Lebanon. The project has to last till 2012 and we are supposed to spend all the money till then. Uh, How much you have left? Well, it's like $8 million now. <laughs> and they looked at us by cars. Uh, the coverage of the project is supposed to cover the whole of Lebanon, but it started like only for the south because it was destroyed in the war. But then the idea just spread over the whole country. The whole country. And now we are working in Akkar, the north of Lebanon, the car, the south, everywhere. This is the website. You can find our photos and contact numbers. Okay. The mission of the project, like I said, is to spread renewable energies in Lebanon. For those who don't know exactly what renewable energies are, we're coming to that section. Uh, also, the section of the project is to spread awareness. We do campaigns, we do uh, seminars to teach people how to use the, those renewable energies, which are available in the market. Then again, we're going to do a renewable energy map, which will spot everywhere in Lebanon where we have sunlight, where we have wind power, where we have every kind of renewable energy. So if you want to invest in renewable energy, it will have all the givens. Uh, and also you are trying to affect the government by uh, legislations and laws. Net metering means like you have to sell electricity to the grid by renewable methods and then you buy it back when you need it. Just like the European system works. And Lebanon we don't have it yet because we don't have a reliable grid and we don't have the laws for it. But we're working on it. Okay, here are some of the projects we, we've done so far. This is a photovoltaic panel. It gives electricity from the salt, from the sun. This was installed in the school in the car, and it gives them electricity they need when, when the grid just blacks out, which is most of the time. This is the same system based on the community center. This is uh, actually like a health clinic and a community center, which is found in Zahli, Pasha This now is street lighting from the sun as well. It's, it takes uh, electricity from the sun and gives it to the street lights at night. This was installed in Batum, Asia, and there's another project also installed in Batum, the city. And this is familiar to all. This is a solar water heating system. It provides hot water for institutions. This one was placed in a hospital. Now, for the number of the projects, we placed 25 panels that create electricity in the poorest regions of Lebanon. They just create electricity for the schools. And, uh, well, actually they get 70 volts of electricity, so they don't have real electricity. So this provides them with lighting and all the electricity they need. The solar water heating system, we, don't, we did four hospitals so far, and we have five coming. Uh, they're supposed to be finished by the summer. Okay, the, coming, the new projects that we will do, well, wind energy, you're probably familiar with it. We're doing a wind atlas for Lebanon, like everywhere in Lebanon, how, how strong are the winds. So when you want to invest in a wind turbine like this one, you have all the wind data, which, is, which simplifies investments in the sector. Uh, there's a, another source of energy, which is, which is biomass. Usually you throw out your food, your waste, everything. All of this can be created, could create energy. This is what biomass is about. Other forms of, of what we are dealing with is energy efficiency. Energy efficiency is the fact that you can save energy by just doing simple changes in your house. Like changing the lights from the old incandescent lamps that take so much energy to the new CFL lamps, which save a lot of energy. Also, energy efficiency is about uh, changing your habits, like turning off the lights when you leave a room, changing the AC set points, and other stuff like that. Okay, those are the projects we've done so far. As you see, we started from the first poorest region in Lebanon, like Rika and the South and Akkar. Uh, now we are creeping towards Beirut, and hopefully this year we'll finish up the whole map. Okay, this is how you can contribute to helping us reach our goal of providing electricity for the whole of Lebanon and for 24 hours. It's not about just providing more electricity, it's about what we can do to save electricity. This is a catch picture. Uh, so yeah, okay. I have the question. No! Okay, uh, as I said, ACs shouldn't be used like at the highest set points. 
a system creates no more solids. You can put them on medium temperatures, like 25 when you are eating and 22 when you are cooling, just like the temperature now, it's very acceptable. This will save a lot of energy. Also, you can use solar water heaters in your home, uh, just not heating it on electricity also creates too much uh, savings. And the easiest way to save energy is by changing from the incandescent light to the CF light, as I said before. They save a lot, like 60% uh, more, less energy. And of course, when you leave the room, please turn off the lights. Okay, as a contribution you can do for as a community. Well, mostly bad news travels fast. If someone installs in a community solar water heater and it doesn't work, he goes telling all his neighbors that those things don't work. Actually, it's not the solar water heater that doesn't work, it's the guy who installed it, he didn't know how to install it. So, as a community, our job is to spread like successful projects, the news about successful projects. And uh, in Europe, I don't know if to be successful in Lebanon, they create cooperatives. Cooperatives uh, like group a lot of people together and they, they aid each other with the funding. Each uh, year it might be someone's turn to get the, the fund for energy efficiency. And this way you can spread energy efficiency fast and provide the funding for it. Uh, and of course, there's no limit to community potential. You can just create ideas. It's open space. in Lebanon, since you have to get the photovoltaic system and you need batteries, the system doesn't operate without batteries in Lebanon, it's very expensive. And I seriously wouldn't recommend it like for your home, unless you, you need, uh, you have a chalet like, and you, you, you keep a fridge on all the time, you can put a solar panel for it. But if you want to provide electricity for your everyday use, it's not really reliable at, at the moment. But if the feed-in low was uh, the net meter, the one I talked about first, if you can sell to the grid, then you can lose the batteries. So when you're not home, you'll be selling to the grid. And when you're home, you you buy back. And you can reach a margin of quality. Do you have a figure for the cost of the kilowatts? Okay. This is tentative, but like the panels will cost you about $3.5 per watt. Like a normal house will use 2,000 watts and more. So uh, at $3.5 per watt, per watt for panels only. And then you have the battery, which actually doubles the price. This is why if we save on the batteries, we can allow feed and low, then photovoltaics will become an option for them. But until this 